All right, back on the 61D6C. Um, take you through some controls and start up. Basically, from up in the seat here, as you can see, it's sort of a couple of little things going on. But uh, look over the back here, we got the fuel tank directly behind the seat. Over the back here, the rippers and uh, rollover protection, which starting a bit aged, needs a bit of work. Anyway, your standard shift is for clutch down here. Instead of power shift having the console down here, so clutch engaged, clutch disengaged. Throttle all the way back, obviously. Shut off, so you pull it back to your first notch right there. That's idle. When I first get on for cold start, I always open it fully, bring it back, fill that dead end. Uh, basic gauges. Uh, we have temperature. Uh, oil pressure, very important. Um, back to the controls. We have left steering release, right steering release. So basically, it disconnects the drive to whichever track and it enables for power to be delivered to. Enable a left turn or a right turn. Should you want to go do a harder turn, pull on your releaser, stand on the steering brake. That will completely lock that track, and this track will be spinning, and you'll go around in circles on the spot. Release the brake, release the releaser. Same thing for the right, obviously. Um, down here, forward, reverse at the moment. That's in reverse position. Forward, now. 5-speed gearbox for forward, but 4 for reverse. Same sort of standard sort of gearbox layout there, you can see. Obviously the starter. Um, push that to the left for start, hold to the right for heat. We have down beside the seat here, a nice shiny key. So we'll go through start up now. It's basically like ignition in your car, but doesn't shut the engine down should you turn it off. <clears throat> At the moment, it's pretty cold, so we're going to have to heat it for a moment. Meaning probably about 25 seconds. So I'll be back. 